Hey guys, it's Jen Coyle from HelloBrio.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to space out your hand lettering so that it fits in the center of your page as well as across your page in general. I'm sure you've been in the place where you've gone to hand letter something and you just completely run out of room by the time you get to the end of your line. So I'm just going to show you some quick tips to help you with that. So let me grab a new piece of paper and I'm going to be hand lettering the, uh, the quote focus on the journey. So if I think about um, the word focus first, I, that has five letters and my paper is this wide. I'm using the large Pentel water brush to present more of a challenge since the larger the brush, the larger your letters tend to be. But fo So focus has five letters and if I think about the width of my paper, I want the C to hit about in the center of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and hand letter the word focus. Thinking about where I want that C to end up. Now the next line, I want the two words on the to be on this one line. So when I'm thinking about one line, I actually need to think about the total number of characters that I'm going to be using. So because there are actually six characters when you account for the space, I need for the letters O-N space to be on the left side of the center, and I need for the rest of the letters for the to be on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, again taking account of where my center line is. And now to finish up this piece, I'm going to hand letter the word journey. Now there are seven letters in the word journey, so I need to think about what letters in the center, and that's the R. So I need to think about when I'm hand lettering that I need my R to happen here, not sooner, not later, because I want this all to be centered. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So there we go. I hope that quick tip was helpful. It just takes some planning and calculation as to where your lines are going to end up and what's on the line, how many characters, etc. For more tips on brush lettering, make sure to check out my ebook, Getting Started with Brush Lettering. If you guys have any questions about brush lettering or watercolor, make sure to leave them in the comments. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!